So most of the time, the Buddha and his followers meditated outdoors. But meditating outside is a bit different from meditating in a shrine room. So I'm just going to go through a few points for meditating outdoors, a meditating outdoors guide for beginners. So, firstly, be prepared. Be warm, yeah? I've got two jumpers on this morning because it's a cool May morning, but it's not going to rain imminently, so I'm not wearing waterproofs. If it might rain, don't be put off, just wear a waterproof or even a hat, yeah? So be prepared, wear enough warm clothes. And another thing, I haven't got my prop, have something to sit on. This is just a piece of, uh, of carry mat, something warm and dry, a bit of insulation. Even if you're going to sit on a park bench, it's nice to have something that will just keep your bum warm to sit on. So take something to sit on, fold it up over trousers will do, anything like that. So that's the first thing, be prepared. Secondly, choosing somewhere to go. So somewhere you've got some contact with nature. I mean, this is pretty cool, right? But uh, doesn't have to be perfect. Don't look for the perfect place. If you live in town, uh, you might be lucky enough to have a garden or there might be a local park or uh, just somewhere you can go where you're outside, you've got some contact with nature. And uh, yeah, as I say, don't look for perfection. But do, when you get there, scope the environment. Yeah, Look around. Let your nervous system, let your senses sort of feel its way into what's going on, particularly if there are other people around. Just sort of clock them, let's say you know what's going on, and make sure you feel safe. Don't try and meditate somewhere where you don't feel safe. It's not going to work very well. So scope what's going on, let your nervous system pick it up. Even if you're somewhere like this, it's really quiet and feels really safe. Just take time. Take time to take it in, to sort of Feel your presence in the place where you're going to sit before you actually find somewhere to sit. Yeah? Right. So finding somewhere to sit. What I look for is I look for somewhere where I've got a bit of the ground is sloping down so I can sit comfortably with my bum above my legs in the way I might do with cushions. And then use the lie of the ground to, uh, to support my legs. So quite straightforward. You can of course sit on a chair or a bench or anything like that. Just make sure you're comfortable. So let's have a look. So I'm just going to use this uh, this little bit of uh, this little hollow in the ground here. I've got my bum cover to keep me warm, and uh, actually I've just my boots just support my ankles and my feet, so my feet are more comfortable. And uh, so I've got my upright posture and my legs, and I can probably sit here reasonably comfortable for quite a long time. So the first thing I do when I sit down is start to tune in the senses. So I'm going to really take my time, take my time to look around, listen to the sounds, clock the sights, using all the senses to sort of orientate myself, to make sure I arrive in my spot, arrive in my place. And take time to feel comfortable, you know, just sort of move a little bit, wiggle a little bit if you need to. So taking time to get comfortable, and time to tune in the senses. If you don't take time to tune in the senses, you'll be constantly distracted. You've got to take it in. So then as you start to move toward whatever meditation you're going to do, remember this is a much more complex and dynamic environment than you might be used to meditating in. A lot more can happen, a lot more is happening and a lot more unpredictable might happen. So you have to stay open. You stay open to the outer world as you start to come to stillness in the body, 
really feeling your connection with the earth, with the ground. Just clock what's going on. Are your fingers a bit cold? Mine are this morning, so I just notice that so it doesn't distract me. I really notice the sounds and I really notice the feeling of the ground beneath me. This is the breadth of the meditation. So I let it stay with me. I don't try and shut it off. I don't try and close out the bird song or the sounds or the feelings or the smells. So I'm going to do a breathing meditation. You can do any meditation outside, whichever meditation you're going to do, taking your time to, or to turn towards that practice, but really allowing the full range of your sense experience to stay with you as you do so. Enjoy its rising and falling, enjoy its movement, and the movement of life, of the lifefulness of things. And don't be put off. Don't be put off by sounds of cars or people or whatever else is going on around you. Don't be put off by little discomforts or even changes in the weather. Yeah? Just let yourself stay open to what's happening. Staying open. And if you want to sit with your eyes open for a while, really again taking it in Letting the mind be calm, but the senses be open, taking it in, that's fine. And don't be in a hurry. Even when you feel like you've come to the end of your meditation, don't be in a hurry. Again, take time to look around to really take in the place that you're meditating, that you're sitting. Notice if you wish you'd put on a few more clothes or brought something else with you. And then just respectfully leaving. <laughs>